actually fly in this B-17, the sentimental journey. We do call this the living history flights. And uh, so when you get in this, uh, I like to say that it's our flying museum. It's not behind a velvet rope. You smell it, hear it, touch it, you interact with it. We take you out over our beautiful Arizona scenery. As you saw today, this airplane sounds and feels just like it did in 1944. You got to experience what the men uh, did that were operating these airplanes many years ago. It's living history that you come out and touch. It's not, it's not behind a museum. You get to interact with it and, and be part of it. So after the war, like many of the GIs uh, that came back from the war, she had a second life. She started out uh, being converted to a DC-3. Uh, they upgraded the engines, took off the cargo doors, put in an air stair, and put a corporate interior in her. She was Hoover Vacuum Cleaner's corporate aircraft for a number of years, ended up being uh, other corporate aircraft flying in the Texas oil fields. Uh, she's been pretty much flying continuously since she was built. During the month of December, we're flying our secret night missions where you can get a good view of the lights of Phoenix. So uh, we, we leave just after sunset and fly down by South Mountain and uh, get a look at the lights of Phoenix and maybe some of the Christmas lights. It's living history at the Commemorative Air Force Museum right here in Mesa.